material rejection or NC handling, which is nothing but dealing with non-conformance which is observed during receipt of goods from the supplier. Here you can see that after proper communication between the purchase department and supplier regarding requirements given by the PPC and terms and conditions, purchase department will place a PO. Then the supplier sends a good to the buyer against PO. Once purchase receives the goods, will send to the quality to carry out an incoming inspection process. During incoming inspection process, if the inspector founds all the goods are okay, then it will go to the store. But if observes any NCs, then quality sends it to the NC area. From there it will go back to the supplier through purchase department. In some cases, quality accepts goods under the deviation if the received goods meet major requirements. This is the detailed NC handling procedure at incoming inspection stage. Here you can see that after receipt of material from the supplier, it will directly go to incoming inspection process. After the inspection process, if it is found ok then it will directly go to store. If it is not ok then it will be identified as a NC product and correction will be decided. There are two types of decisions, accepted under deviation or rework. If it is accepted under deviation then the material will directly go to the store. In the rework, in-house rework of the NC product takes place followed by the re-inspection. After the re-inspection. If it is accepted then it will directly go to the store. If it is not accepted then it will be rejected and sent back to the supplier. Then purchase department will communicate with the supplier regarding corrective action for the rejected NC product. Supplier has to take necessary actions about rejecting the items at their end. Thus they have to show in terms of kappa to the buyer by filling information about containment action taken root cause for the NCs, corrective action applied and how they planned preventive action for the potential problems. So supplier kappa is a formal document issuing to the supplier regarding a corrective action to a problem that occurred due to their product or service. This is also called as CAR supplier corrective action request. Basically it is a formal request to a supplier to correct a problem by eliminating its root cause and explain exactly how it will do so. Supplier Kappa gives assurance regarding the non-repeatability of the problems in the future from supplier end. Supplier rating depends on supplier rejection and supplier Kappa. This is the format for supplier Kappa. This is normal corrective action given by supplier for their rejected parts. This includes information about supplier details, material details, PO number, receipt invoice number, NC details, who identified the NCs, further action details root cause details, corrective action and preventive action details, continuous monitoring process and verification details, etc.